little bit about Pro Tools. Now you can see right over here, I have a PowerPoint up about Pro Tools. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect some of the things up and how we specifically connect up something called the Mbox 2. There's actually some newer versions of the Mbox, but I, actually, I just wanna tell you guys about how we connect up our system here at the school. So uh, to show you guys, go ahead and pull out some notes and follow along. So the first thing that you need to know is that we have our computer here. We're gonna be taking our computer and using a USB cable and connecting up to this thing called the inbox. This is our IO, if you guys remember that um, from one of our past lessons, input and output. And we're gonna figure out how to get signal from a microphone and also send that signal to a set of speakers, some really important stuff. So in order to accomplish that, um, well, here's the front of the inbox right there. I'm actually more concerned about this. I'm gonna show you guys how to plug in all this stuff behind here. Looks like, looks like a big jumble of stuff, but it's actually really well organized uh, once you learn how to set it up. And once you learn where to plug things in, hey, I should be able to get some work done. And that's kind of the goal of this whole thing, isn't it? So let's check it out. We need to start with the back of the computer. So we're gonna take that USB cable, plug it into one of these USB ports, and then connect the other end to uh, this USB, I think that's a USB B connector if I'm uh, not mistaken. And you plug it in right there. And what that's gonna do is tell the computer, hey, these inputs and outputs, we're not gonna use those anymore. Actually, we don't wanna use those because of all those uh, radio signals that are floating out there in the world. Remember that uh, we talked about from a previous lesson, how there's like electromagnetic radiation that's flowing uh, throughout our neighborhoods because of you know local TV stations and stuff like that. This is normal stuff. Well, all that uh, electromagnetic radiation tends to cause lots of problems in audio. And so the way we get around that is by buying an expensive box that negates all that stuff. So first of all, we've just connected up that USB cable. Now we're gonna talk about how to connect up the microphone to the input. So we're gonna connect the microphone into the input of our I.O. box that's gonna connect up to the computer. This is how you guys do that. Oh yeah, and we have our output that goes to the speakers. So um, how we're gonna do this with the microphone here, this is SM58, it's a very common microphone. We have it here at the school. We actually have a couple of these so we can get projects done like this. Um, and we're gonna plug it in right here um, or right here. So we have input one and input two. Um, and we're gonna take that XLR cable, which we have right here. And we're gonna plug that into input one, okay? It's okay to plug it into input two, but just know that in Pro Tools, you're gonna to have to you know, kind of indicate that. So make sure we plug that into input number one, all right? Now let's see the other half of this equation, which is the speakers up over here. We have our nice Yamaha speakers. And what we're going to do is actually, let's take a look at the back of that speaker. Here's a picture of the back of the speaker. And you can see we have uh, these little inputs right here. So we have a nice quarter inch input. And on the back of the inbox, if you look right here, we have monitor out and we have left and right. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go monitor out, get a quarter inch cable, and we're gonna plug it right in between there. Now, of course, we have to have two of these because we not only have a right, but we also have a left speaker as well. One very important thing to recognize for this is that our level on our um, monitor speaker is turned all the way down. You guys probably want to turn that up a little bit, um, at least up to 12 o'clock. By 12 o'clock, I mean at the very top here. And by turning it up to 12 o'clock, you'll know that it's not too loud. You haven't turned it all the way up, but it's not also all the way down. So you have a little bit of uh, volume to work with uh, right there. So either way, we have a, a nice blend of uh, power right there. So that is how you connect up a quick, you know, quick little Mbox 2 to our iMac with USB cable in between. If you guys have any questions, please ask.